Hey everyone, welcome back to our gunsmith series for patch 12.12. We're on to part 11, which is the ASVAL. Now the beauty of this task uh, specifically is that there's not like 10 ways to do it. There's one way to do it, one set of parts. So the important thing here isn't about some crazy build. It's about three very specific barters. They're gonna save you a fortune versus buying these parts, these components on the flea market. So let's get the task read and get right into the build. So he says, this time we need an ASVAL, GL shock stock, ANP Q15 tactical device, NSPUM night scope, 30 round mag, erg over 33 and recoil sum less than 220. So let's go back to our inventory here and take a peek. Now, one thing to keep in mind, when you get an ASVAL, even if you get one that's not, you need to make sure the stock is unfolded before you take it apart. There is a bug if it's folded and you put all these parts on there, it will not let you turn it in. So make sure you're unfolded. I'm gonna pull these parts off now just to get them out of the way. And then we're gonna go look at a couple of our barters. Now I have, I snuck these in here on accident on you, but um, we're gonna look at a specific barter. So the first one's gonna be a 30 round mag. Now, in order to get that, you go to proper, loyalty level three, look at his barters and you have the 30 round mag here for four pliers it's that or you're going to spend quite a bit of money on the flea market for it these things are not cheap they're not too bad but we're going to do the barter here to get our 30 round mag next up is the uh very specific buffer tube pistol grip that you need and you're going to get that from mechanic at loyalty level two it's right here the rotor 43 it's one can of milk to get this we're going to get that uh, real quick, we'll do that barter, but I want to show you the difference here. A can of milk is like 19, 20,000. This is a hundred thousand if you go and buy it. There's no reason to spend a hundred thousand on this other than maybe you don't have mechanic two. And if you don't have mechanic two, you probably shouldn't be doing the gunsmith tasks anyways. You're kind of wasting a bunch of money doing them. Now, the last one's going to be the GL uh, shock stock, which is right here. Again, mechanic loyalty level two. One thing at WD 40, we'll do the barter. And I'm going to show you so that the can of WD 40 wasn't too expensive, it was like 15 to 20,000 versus spending sometimes 20, 25 on the GL shock. Once you get skier loyalty level four, you can buy it from them if you have that for quite a bit cheaper, but that's just the option if you don't have skier loyalty level four. All right, so let's hop into the pre-build and get this thing built. We'll buy some more parts afterwards. So we'll stick on the uh, buffer tube. We'll stick on the GL shock, which is right there. Um, we'll stick in the 30 round mag. And the night scope is the one that we're gonna have to put on, which is right there. Um, and then the last piece you need is one of these three, the B3, uh, one of these B3s or the 6P29M pause mount thingy. I have this because I found it in raid, so I'm gonna put that on, but use whichever's cheapest for you. You can get some of these for like 10,000. The only diff the only thing you need to be able to do is attach this uh, ANPQ uh, 15 to the gun. So any of those that allow you to do that will work. Okay, so let's assemble this. We'll have to buy a couple of parts, uh, specifically the scope and the, the PQ15. Um, I'm gonna trade just in case we go a little bit cheaper and we do there. So we're 31,000 on top of everything else we've already done. Okay, we're purchased, get her assembled, all ready to go. And we're gonna go turn this hideous beast into mechanic and be done with it. Turn in, complete, get our pressure our pressure gauge and our Kibbe keys internal door along with XP. So that's it for part 11. Again, another one of these that really emphasizes how important barters are. Hope I help you save a little bit of money just so you have more in your pocket to do your raids. Wish you the best of luck. We'll see you in Tarkov.